Hello everyone, today I am back with another special edition. Um, I did already receive my Bargainer special edition, I didn't unbox that, but um, I will be unboxing my Plated Prisoner special edition. It is a um, digital signature version, um, but uh, let's see. Okay, I'll read that at the end. What got me most excited about this was not just like all the amazing stuff I heard about this series, um, but the fact that one of my favorite bookish artists was going to be doing the cover art for these special editions. I just could not resist. Um, this set does come with the first three books. The final book, they are going to continue and release it um, as a special edition with the same artist and everything um, later on whenever that book is released. But in the meantime, I'm super excited to get into these. I believe this might be the first book. I don't know. It was the one that was on top. So... Let's see. Oh, already. Um, it has some very interesting black sprayed edges at the top. <gasps> okay, so apparently this is Gleam. Okay, this is the bottom and the top. These are the edges. And this is the cover. Wow, it's really gorgeous. I love that holographic on the dress. And the spine. The back. So because um, this is actually a naked hardcover, so the ribbons are just a slip case overlay and this is the actual cover of the book and it connects all the way around very pretty okay um these are the end papers now this book did not have inner artwork artwork like most of their special editions do um so that was a little disappointing but at the same time i'm just really excited and happy to have these oh raven kennedy's signature is actually kind of cute <laughs> okay and there it says bookish box edition exclusive edition Very pretty. Ooh, and the pages aren't stuck together. I love that too. Okay. Okay. Next, then I am assuming this is book two, which is Glint. Okay, here is the cover with Oren again. Also, they did have a different font for the titling at first. Um, it was very, very pretty, but because it was a lot more, oh, so it's the same. Um, it's just dripping honey, dripping honey, gold. <laughs> it was very honey colored, um, which is kind of pretty. Um, And I did like the original print, but if it was for a different book, I think the biggest issue was that the original font was a little too gaudy and was also gold, just like the rest of the books. So it was very, very distracting and it covered up like almost half of the photo 
um, art imagery on every cover because it was so large for every letter and so like extravagant. Um, so I think them going with this simpler lettering to kind of show off the art more was a really good idea and I'm glad that they actually responded to customer feedback um, because a lot of customers were very um, disappointed and not liking the fact that the original cover, the gold color was not very, it was more of an orangish color, which did not look very nice. Um, and it kind of made it look, it was almost like this color, this orangish shade. It's, you can't see it very well here, but like all over the cover. These are the end papers for this one. Ooh, these thorns are really gorgeous. Okay, it's the same in the back. Okay, again, the um, digital signature. For book two. Alright, and last but not least is the very first book in the Plated Prisoner series, which is Guild. This was the one that caused a lot of um, feedback <laughs> originally when they showcased the original idea for the cover. Um, wow, that, I know that's the, that has to be the top overlay, right? No, it's not. Wow, it's very, very, very shiny. almost too shiny like now you can't really see the um, detail in the dress because there's so much gold foil they also did reduce the size of the um, cage because the original was very very huge and they had like dripping honey looking gold I guess it was supposed to be gold but it did not look like gold and it was dripping down the top and it was very very distracting um, so I kind of like this more simplistic design. Oh my gosh, the cover for my first book is so messed up. Okay, so here at the top, I don't know if you can see it, but it's dented there. And this is the spine on this one. At least it's only on that bottom part. Um, and it's on the back. Uh, it's not horrible enough for me to complain about it, but that's very disappointing. Um, I'm, I mean, the book itself is fine. It's just that is kind of messed up. Um, I might message them and see if they can do anything about it. But just like resent, send a replacement overlay since the book is completely fine. It's just my overlay that got damaged. Um, But let's see. Ooh, I love the end paper for this one. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I'm almost wondering if this is supposed to be like that or if there's supposed to be a design or something that did not get added online. I might have to message about that as well. Um, but there's like scratches and stuff on the foiling. Um, and it's on her hands too. I don't know if you can see that. Um, hmm. I will have to find out what's going on with that. Um, it's here on the bottom too. Um, but anyway. Other than that, everything else seems to be pretty well done. All right, well then, um, that was it for my little quick unboxing of the Plated Prisoner series. Um, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!